Hey everyone. Uh, so today we are going to discuss uh, stack data structure in C sharp. Uh, so stacks. Uh, so stacks actually, uh, uh, no. If you think about stacks, it's it's actually a last in, first out data structure. Right. So whatever the last element that you put in a stack is the first that would come outside uh, uh, from the stack. All right, uh, so we can create a stack class also uh, in C sharp, but there's already a stack uh, class available as part of uh, uh, the collections library that we have in, in C sharp, right, which is system.collections.generic. So we'll just see what all operations we can perform on a stack class. So let's say uh, I want to create a stack and I'm going to use this uh, the generic version of the uh, stack class. So I'll create a stack of string. I'll call it as. Uh, names equals to new stack of. So in stacks, <clears throat> the first thing that we have to do is push elements to a stack. Yeah, so I'll say names dot push. Or I can say a. This space spaced a couple of more times. A, B, C, and D. Yeah, so now that we have added elements, uh, pushed elements to the stack, now the first operation that we can do is uh, pop element outside out of this uh, particular stack, right? So what I can say is console. Dot. Okay, I'll not do a console. Let's say uh, string name equals to name equals to names dot pop. So once I pop an element from the array uh, from this particular stack, now uh, it, it should ideally be popping out D, right? Because this was the last element that we have. Added to this act, right? So let's let's start by running this application. Okay, so I've added D. Now, if I hover over this stack, now it has three elements because we have already popped out one element. Uh, now the only elements in the array are A, B, and C, right? And if you see this, uh, actually on zeroth position here. It is the element that we have pushed the last, right? Which is C. Okay. So that's how. Uh, so these are like two operations of stack. So we have another operation which is called peak. And say is peak name equals to names dot peak. Now what peak does is it actually allows you to look at the last element that was pushed into the stack, but it would not uh, actually remove it from the stack. Yeah, so in this case, it would ideally be saying that, OK, uh, I peeked into this particular stack and the last element is C, but it, it would not pop C out of the uh, stack, right? The, the, the element would still remain in, uh, in the stack. So we'll run it again. Uh, so this would be D. And now if I try to, uh, if we try to peek, it would be C. But if we see the array, it still has three elements. Uh, we have A, B, C. All together, yeah. So now, because this is a collection, we can loop through this uh, collection, right? So I can use for each uh, where name in names say console dot right line um, Let's see. So C B, right? The first element is C, second is B, and third one is A. Okay, so this is how we loop through all of the elements of a of a stack. So there are two more methods that I wanted to discuss. Uh, so the first one, it's actually called um, so we have names dot. So these are the three methods that we have seen: push, pop, peak. Right, so we also have something called as uh, contains. In this case, 
you can say is does this stack contain a and the return type of this would be a boolean uh, so i can say var So let's just get on the screen and say console dot right line. Names dot contains a. Yeah. So in this case, if I say let's just do another one for an element which is probably not in the stack. So we are expecting uh, true to come for this operation false for this one. Yeah, to <clears throat> true when we are trying to find if a is there in the stack and if it's g we are getting a false right so that that works finally we have another method we have something called as names uh, dot clear so this is going to remove all the elements from the stack yeah it, it's it's going to uh, make the stack empty yeah so now if i see at the stack it has zero elements yeah so now you can again push and uh, do stuff with your stack all right, so let's uh, quickly do a recap. Uh, so stack is a uh, last in, first out data structure, uh, and it's this this class is already part of uh, system dot collections dot generic. If you're if for some reason you want to use the non generic version, it's in system dot collection uh, namespace. <clears throat> so now once you so the first usually the first opera operation that you do on stack is pushing elements to stack, uh, which uh, is the push method that you use. And once you have pushed all the elements onto the stack, you can pop a particular element, which would uh, give you that element and also remove that element from that stack. Uh, you can also try to peek if you want to look at the last element that's inserted uh, onto the stack. <clears throat> and uh, but this this operation would not remove that element from that stack. You can loop through all of the elements of the stack using for each loop. You can check if an element is uh, present in a stack or not using contains method. And finally, you can uh, remove all the elements from the stack using clear method. All right. Uh, so that's all from today's video. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.